In the Azure portal, to create a file share, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a storage account. So over here on the left, I have storage accounts. I'm gonna choose create. Under this create a storage account section here, my subscription is already selected. I'm gonna create a new resource group and I'm just gonna name this one storage resource group. The name of the storage account, an interesting thing about this, I'm gonna name it RTS, we'll type RTS storage. Notice it says that name is already taken. The name of your storage account has to be unique within all of Azure. So what I'm gonna do is just make this 001. No error message, so that appears to be unique. For the region, whatever region you want this to reside in, I'm gonna leave it in the East US for now. For performance, you can have standard or premium. Premium, as it says here, is just recommended for scenarios that require low latency. So a higher level of performance you would get. And if you need some type of redundancy, one great thing in Azure, most configurations will have these little information bubbles. So you can hover over this and it'll tell you the data in your Azure storage account is always replicated to ensure durability, high availability, choose a replication strategy that matches your durability requirements. So whatever level of redundancy you need, and there are many, you can simply choose from this list. Now they will give you a description of what each one of these does. So you just select the one that is most appropriate for your specific situation. That's all I need to do. I am going to click review plus create. We pass the validation. Now I will simply create and my storage account will be created in just a matter of seconds. Now that that is complete, I'm gonna select go to resource and it just opens my storage account. If I scroll down a bit, I have a file shares that shows up here. So under file shares, I'm gonna click this plus file share and it's gonna ask me for the name of the file share. I'm gonna name it Depending on the performance you need, you can decide the tier that this actually uses, but I'm not changing any of that. I'm just gonna go and click create at the bottom here. Now, I have a shared folder is what it's equivalent to that actually lives in Azure. Well, I'm gonna open it. So I'm just gonna click on sales. And now I have the folder open. I'm gonna upload a file to it. I will choose this Azure test file I created and I'm just gonna click upload and it uploads that file. So now you'll see I'm in the sales share and under that is this Azure test files. So that worked. The exciting part of this, how do I connect to it? Well, that is super simple. I'm just gonna click connect if I scroll down a bit, it gives me all this PowerShell syntax. What's great about this, you can read through the syntax if you choose to, but you really don't have to. What you can do is just scroll down to the bottom and click copy to clipboard. Now on my local machine, I'm just gonna open my PowerShell ISE. This PowerShell ISE, which stands for Integrated Scripting Engine, will give me the ability to paste all that syntax in. Again, this is automatically generated for you. So you don't have to edit this or do any of those things. What I'm gonna do is simply click this little play icon here and it's gonna execute all of this code. I don't need the PowerShell syntax anymore. So I'm just gonna exit out of that. Now on my local machine, if I open File Explorer, you'll see this sales shows up. That is the Azure test file that's actually in that location. Pretty fascinating. What I'm gonna do is just Control C and Control V, just to copy and paste that file. So now I have an Azure test file copy. 
if I go back to the Azure portal here, I'm going to close this little connect window and I'm going to refresh this view. That's the one file that we uploaded. But now if I refresh the view, you'll see that copy file shows up. So this is a mapped network drive to my local machine. Anything I say to that mapped network drive shows up in Azure. So this is the equivalent of having a mapped drive in an on-premise server. But the beauty, I can now take my computer anywhere in the world. As long as I have an internet connection, I have access to that shared folder. I don't need a VPN client. I don't need to connect to anything on the local network. I just need an internet connection and I can connect to these resources in Azure. So truly, I am now untethered from my physical network in my corporate environment. Pretty awesome.